Welcome everybody. We're back with a Tech for Techies video and today we're going to be unpacking the 5 ampere hour lithium battery for the UPS 1600. So I have it right here and uh, there's some important aspects about the product I'd like to show you, uh, basically how you install it, but we're going to start with the packaging. So if we look really closely, there's a lot of information right on the front of this product because we want to uh, give the customer as much information in, in, uh, up front before they get started. And it starts with as simple as the product labeling. So right here you can already read on the front, it's a C C Top UPS 1100 product, and it is a battery module used for the UPS. So we're gonna have a 24 volt DC output system with a capacity of five ampere hours. Now for uh, logistics, there's uh, the requirement to specify exactly how much energy that is, and that's two times 66, 66 watt hours. Now this unit can output up to 20 amperes maximum, which if you look at our UPS line, we have three models. We have a 10, a 20, and a 40 amp model. And that means that this is suitable for installation with the 10 and 20 amp model. The next is the ordering number. Of course, it's very simple to compare with your documentation uh, in your uh, installation. And of course, the serial number. Now this is an interesting point because we put that specifically on the product in order to allow you to link your uh, installation with, with the products that we deliver to you. Now the last one here is uh, all the approvals. Now we're really proud of all the approvals we offer because that gives you really the freedom to install and ship your products, uh, your application across the world. Now you notice this big label on the right hand side. Now this is important because one of the parts that's linked with the serial code is when it was produced. So we see here that it was produced in August of 2018. Six months later is the is February 2, 2019. Now that's important because as a battery module, it's charged, but it has to be recharged. And if you allow it to discharge too long, it can damage the performance. So we clearly label on the front of the product exactly when you have to uh, recharge it. But that says enough for what the packaging is. Let's actually look at the product. So let's give it a, let's open it up. So what we see right away is a little leaflet. Now I'll turn this to the camera. We have a little leaflet right in the front here. Oh, I already turned it around. Um, and this is important because as lithium batteries do have a lot of regulations for shipping, this gives a note or a reminder exactly what you have to do to install this product. Now I'll get to this a little bit later, but that's something we're going to save and put to the side. The other really important piece of document that, uh, that's included is the operating manual. Now that has all your installation information, has all your technical information, has mounting instructions, and two fuses to get uh, started run up and running. Now I'll put that to the side as well, but this is actually available online. So you can go to our CS website and simply call up the MLFB and you can read this document uh, in advance. So we're going to remove the battery unit. Now it's about one and a half kilo. So we have two little finger holes for the carton so you can get it out easily. It's not too bad, but I'd say with one hand you can lift it. Now what, now what we have here is the metal, the metal casing, the actual device itself. As you can see, full model, uh, full metal uh, installation, full metal housing, um, with uh, the important information from the product label also on the front. So you can technically see exactly what's on the front. So 24 volt device with a five air ampere hour lithium battery inside. Ordering number and additionally the product state. Now we cross off the first one of course, but as you make changes to your installation, you can simply cross off the additional boxes to show the iteration in your, in your installation. Now there are three important uh, connection points. We have the mains, which is what delivers the 24 volt power from the actual batteries. We have the communication connection X2, two, uh, two connections there that go to the UPS. Now that's responsible for linking the intelligence in the device to your, UP, to your UPS. That gives you information like uh, testing cycles, uh, temperature, and all your, your charging curves are preloaded on our uh, circuitry. And the last one is the fuses, or one fuse here. It's a uh, 15 amp fuse, and we've included two sample fuses here for you to get started. Now, as I mentioned before, uh, we had a small leaflet showing kind of a reminder. Now, this is important because, as I uh, quickly mentioned, for log logistic requirements, you need to deactivate the batteries before you ship them. And so we've done the same for when we deliver the product to you. Now it's not a complicated process. I'm going to show you exactly what that means. All we have to do is actually open up the housing. Now there's two screws here, torque screws. You can open on the front. Simply unscrew that one and two. Now they're non-loss screws, so you don't have to worry about them falling out. They'll always stay in there. And we just open up the housing, and now what we see is the actual inside of the device. 
right? As I mentioned before, the communication, here's the intelligence, here's the circuitry that actually monitors your device, the, the set, symmetry, the temperature, and, and so forth. But as you can see, there's, these two cables are disconnected. Now that's as simple as simply connecting these devices here to the batteries. Now you can't do it wrong. Even if you were to flip the order of these, they would still, uh, still uh, the battery pack would still work as it's two 12 volt batteries in serial. So it's just a matter of creating an electrical connection. And that was it. With that, now this, this device is actually ready for use. So we just have to close it up again. Screw this quickly closed and then place a, a fuse in there, and then this device is ready to be connected. So, I hope that was a good little Tech for Techies video. I can't wait to hear back from you guys uh, what you guys think. Siemens, ingenuity for life.